What is that? <laughs> Sounded like a home improvement project. Oh, uh, that's how they're getting up the hill. All right, I see what's going on. Yeah, that drill was crazy. Uh, I'm really sorry guys I'm really sorry guys I went sober five years ago so I'm just gonna be here laughing at you while y'all y'all are all hammered I'm just here watching everybody get wasted up the hill. Hear you guys complain. We chug. Yeah, don't you just chug? Isn't downhill the beer bomb? Don't stop. Sprint! Sprint! Pedal, pedal, pedal! Go, go, go! So in case you're tuning in, I got my team on the chat right now. So they're they're in my ears. Oh, whoops, I'm not even on. Boom, there I am. So if you're watching, just tuning in, I've got my team on Discord in my earballs. And I'm listening to my iPod on shuffle on the side. And the concept with this ride is it's uh it's just a fun ride. We're getting some meters up the hill. Uh, it looks like I can't remember how how uh, 
how tall the uh, the hill's gonna be. It's like a mountain in the game. So we're all just getting mountains for meters. It's a banded ride. So the people in the front basically can pull the people in the back if they're not too fast. And, uh, and the idea is everybody's gonna be drinking except me because I don't do that. But it's all good. Just having a nice trainer ride on the video game on a Saturday afternoon. It looks pretty nice out, which is cool. But I don't know, I plan to do this and this is what's happening. So I've got, whew, I've got the restream chat in front of me open. If you have any questions or if you wanna hang out and uh, you don't have to listen to my team I'm gonna turn up some tunes that might get silenced or whatever, thanks to copyright. And it looks like we're just doing the lead in right now. Um, the ride is only 16.4 kilometers, but it's like straight uphill, so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. Um, but it's gonna be fun. Nice training ride. Get a sweat on. It's gonna be great. So link me in the chat. If you're around, I don't know why you tune in. <laughs> Stream it anyway. I guess I could do that if I need to. I think I've only done this route once. And that was for the Tour de Zwift, where I got my cute little hat at in the video game. Meters in elevation is the, uh, oh, sorry. Woo! She's gonna be rough. I'm gonna try. I think, well, well, I do have magic mushrooms within arm's reach, so that's not, that wouldn't be breaking my sobriety. <sighs> oh yeah, sure. Apparently I have a friend who grows them now, so, you know what I mean? Whoa. Hello, Tron. <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh, baby. You had to, you had, baby. you had a flat, you had to catch up. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just hoping I can uh, climb faster than a, I don't know, lead cinder block. I think I've only done this route once. <laughs> yeah. I'll be spinning like 200 RPM. Yeah, let's go! You guys are so slow! This feels amazing! <laughs> it's different. I like to save it for like up north nature trips. And maybe like theme parks with gigantic rides. <laughs> Nobody knows what 
Whoa! Two days in a row! Wasn't, uh, wasn't this route, this was one of the Tour de Zwift rides, wasn't it? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I made it in an hour and 20 minutes. I had no idea what I was doing. I bonked it about an hour. I screamed at my roommate to please fill up my water. <laughs> so... Yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah, right? I was like, it can't be that hard. It's just a fake hill. Tower. Like, is that in Watopia? I seem to remember that at least having a little bit of downhill in between.
Oh, oh, there's a fake tower. Oh, fun. Nice. Good God. I, uh, I rode this, uh, I rode this alley cat race once. It was like a Halloween insane ride. And they gave us an address for one of the checkpoints. And then when you get there, the guy was like, oh, the dispatcher gave you the wrong address. This is east. It's supposed to be west. <sighs> right? And it was like, it was a joke, you know, for messenger race type stuff. But... I wanted to kill everyone. I think I did pretty good in that race, though. steered off the road into the forest, talked to a tree stump for a couple hours, got good advice.
Nice. Yeah. He's just rehydrating with vitamin B. Wait a minute, I think I did Alp de Zwift on a, a rehab ride because I remember these windows. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't remember which, uh, which one it was. I was so new. I just couldn't even believe there were teams in the league at that point. Oh no, like a Sunday rehab. Isn't that what you guys call it? Sunday suffer? Recon? Recon? Yes! That's the one, Survival Sundays. <laughs> I think I know some some people who have a group ride on Mondays called Monday Rehab, so I probably just got to confuse it. so unsatisfying. Cheers. Yay. Cheers. 
So one of the guys is just saying that his trainer probably overheated and uh, he's lost all resistance. So basically he'll be spinning like a madman until that comes back in, which is hard. Cheers. All right, cheers. <laughs> man motorhead and judas priest is really good for this uh babushka babushka doesn't understand how to program that vcr yet no stop what's a vcr Oh man. Strategic.
So by the end of this ride, there should be about 1,000 meters in the blue counter. So it seems like that 9.0 kilometers is nothing, but because the grade is so steep, it's a killer. So, whew. but that's a thousand K or a thousand meters, one K closer to my Tron bike. And that's kind of exciting. I only have about 20,000 more to go.
Well, it's a pretty decent game, though, by the end of the ride. I'm like the opposite. I think New York was when I was wondering why everybody was turning the hill climbs into sprints. And then I think a couple days later we had a practice ride and someone was like, yeah, they're not sprints. You're just heavy. Damn. say that. Really hoping not to.
interesting with KOM, or sorry, with the, the New York after party race was, you know, there was someone, as soon as we saw the, uh, the ramp coming towards the end, they just sprinted out. And I was like, oh, now, you know, I'm just gonna get dropped by my whole group. But as it turned out, cheers. I ended up catching up to them about halfway through that first hill because they just gassed themselves out. So I was like, okay, well, there's hope. Okay, cheers. But yeah. Right? Claire math. Uh oh, Sasquatch. I mean, it could be around. I saw the sign. I think I'm gonna. Okay, now my legs are feeling it. Whew. I'm about ready to take a right and fly off of the mountain. come up real nice. make me think that my bike is squeaking.
Oh yeah. Bleep, blap, bloop. I think you can actually change the the volume for the sound effects versus the background noise. So if you if you didn't, yeah. thumbs that would help my processing speed on the potato oh amazing that is really good information thank you I'm gonna do that well for some reason this is the weirdest thing I have an i7 2.8 gigahertz and it's got a big screen and it's beautiful but then I've got an i5 Cool, I'm not done though. So I got, the, <laughs> I got the i7, which is supposed to be fast, but then I got an i5, which is faster. I, I don't even understand it. It's just the i7 has a bigger screen. <sighs> oh, yeah, cheers. Yeah, this is a version of the, the Mac Pro where they put two graphics cards in and one, no, no bad. One of them is a, one of them is a piece of shit and it fucks up the graphics. Yeah, like the, there's two fixes that I've seen online. One, one is a program called Flux, which puts a tint on your screen for like nighttime. But the other fix is a $90 chip that you weld onto your motherboard. Yeah. <sighs> it might. <sighs> but I mean, if it gets this potato working better, I do it, it's just, I don't know if I trust anyone to weld my motherboard. Um, the potato, they're both iMac, or MacBook Pros. Depends on your processing speed and graphics card. <sighs> Oh wow. You really are, girl. You really are. Well, I've been looking for like a a Windows-based Mac or a Windows-based computer, sorry. Um, because I found some uh, some bootleg software that I'd like to run, but it only runs on Windows, so No. Oh, well, yeah, hard to find. <sighs> well, well, Best Buy has some decent deals, actually, but I'm just not ready to pull the trigger just yet. I want to save up a bit more money. Actually, I promised myself when Bitcoin hits 90 or 100 US, that's when I'm cashing out my original investment and buying a lappy. <sighs> I don't trust Doge at all. Diamond hands, diamond hands. <sighs> Oh, is this our Sasquatch? Apiary, what, what the hell is this? 
It's a trap! <laughs> Cheers! Oh, it's like an Anukshuk. Someone before us built it. Okay, now we're more than half of the turns there, right? Oh, yay! So it's. Woo! Not just Claire math. What? Okay, that's Claire math? Alright. Okay, okay. Once you get to four. Oh. That's weird. Actually, I'm being real corny right now, but riding with you guys makes it more manageable. Especially because whoever's in the front is pulling me. Keeping my mind off the pain. <laughs> Maybe I'll go roller skate later. Here's brutal. Do it. So worth it. Yeah, I've been allergic to cats in a bad way for my whole life, but I think it was only about maybe eight years ago I started getting seasonal allergies really bad. Ooh. Especially like after a rain. Ugh. Oh. That's brutal. says control your breathing yeah I'm just sorry me oh Toronto Canada right I'm trying to get to LA actually LA or maybe London England Yeah, I've never been. <laughs> oh yeah, right? It's not like you can make a backpacking tour out of it. Sorry, what was that? Oh, cool.
Fair Verona. Oh, cool. Wow. You're in Queens. You guys are right. You guys are right by the Kisena Villadrome. Okay. okay. Eyes open for Sasquatch. Eyes open for Sasquatch. Are you guys at the Casena Vel? Are you guys at the Casena Velodrome like every day or what? I don't know. I got a friend in. I think I got a friend in Washington. I got a friend in Washington Heights who goes to race at the Velodrome. I think she won a. She won last yesterday, actually. Yeah. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she's um, she's a transplant from Ottawa. She moved to New York to be a bike messenger. Um, married a messenger. I think had two kids, and now she's getting back into racing. She's a photographer. Her name is Amy. She's amazing. Yeah, she is so cool. Yeah, it's so neat. I wish. Sorry? Okay, eyes open. If you're on a Mac, I appreciate it.
Um, I just want to ride off the side right now. Oh, my legs. Oh. I'm just going to ride straight through the switchback. Lay off the side. No thanks. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, for what it's worth, I have a kinetic and it's just a flywheel. There's no resistance, uh, uh, whatever control on it. Yeah, it's just pedaling the whole time. I put, uh, I put apple cider vinegar in my water. It tastes horrible, but I think it makes acetic acid, which is like pain reliever. <laughs> Sorry? What? The apple cider vinegar? Oh. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I heard it does good things. It tastes like dirty feet, but I figure if you put, if you put much of anything in your water, then it's a lot, it's not flushing right through you, you're absorbing it and rehydrating. So, <sighs> yeah, exactly. And like, I did a long ride once and like, you know, I was a messenger for a thousand years and I would always drink water but then be going to the bathroom the whole time because it was just running through me. As soon as I squeezed some water, some lemon in, I didn't, didn't have to go to the bathroom as much because it was absorbing into my system. Yeah, and I didn't have to put like sugar or any doo-doo in it. Yeah, nothing bad. Oh. Come on, man. No parents, no rules. If you want to take a sip, go for it. Not only do you get the bike ride, not only do you get your bike ride in, you get day drunk. It's a twofer. You have kids? who got the Johnson and Johnson and I don't know if that's one or two shots but she said she was knocked she said she was knocked out for five days she showed me a picture of her like her face was like broken blood vessel red and she said it was like that for yeah for like five days unbelievable Oh, 
wow. How's he doing now after surgery? How's he doing now after the surgery? Is he all right? Okay, great. Good, good. Yeah, I just heard a friend of mine, he told me yesterday, like he said, a, I think last week he said he caught the Ronas from his parents or something, and he still lives at home. So his dad was feeling like crap. His mom had to go to the hospital yesterday. She's got, I know, inflammation in her heart. They're saying if she doesn't get any better, they gotta take her to the ICU and put her on a vent. I know, like, I'm like, I don't even know what I can do for him. I feel so bad for him, man. It's so brutal. For sure. Yeah, he got the UK one, he said. And like, it's just ripping through the community and like, I'm in a hot spot area, but there's nowhere set up to get vaccines. Oh, you bet. I try not to leave my house. Sit, hence, indoor ride. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in Parkdale. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry to hear that. That's horrible. Oh, for sure. And I was like, if you ride by, I rode by Sunnybrook, like maybe last month, it was brutal. They have like a, an army field hospital in the parking lot. And like, I've been so worried. Well, I mean, better safe than sorry either way. But my sister works as a teacher. And I've just been worried sick for her for like the last year, but she finally got her first vaccination, I think Tuesday. She lives in Whitby as well. And they, yeah, they made her go all the way to the convention center downtown from Whitby. You know, it's like the rollout is such a joke. But hey, buck a beer. Especially because we've got Doug Ford in control. The guy's like shit Midas. Everything he touches turns to shit. <laughs> 
Is that a website or a Twitter? What the hell is that? Okay. Yeah, I'm in, I'm actually in a hot spot. There are no pharmacies in the neighborhood set up to give vaccinations. There's, there's no health centers. They're not using any libraries. Like it's, it's a shit show. Like I think the only place that was set up was at Jane and Wilson. <laughs> and I think they took our, they took our postal code off the list. So I just, yeah, yeah. Like you have to, Yeah, well, they're saying, um, oh my God, unbelievable. Yeah. What a shit show. Yeah. Right? Well, because Doug Ford, Doug Ford is the boss of this mess. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I mean, if Doug had his way, we wouldn't. Like he took, he gutted. Um, if I were, if I were to drive, yeah, if I were to drive, it would take like three hours, I think, to get to Buffalo. Two and a half, three hours to... Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I could take two and a half hours to get there, but I can't cross. So, yeah. saying and like I got a I've been abreast of the emails from my MPP and she said that they're they're starting a they're starting a pharmacy pilot project for something like a hundred and a hundred pharmacies throughout the whole city and each of them will get 150 doses a week <laughs> yeah it's it's ridiculous. It's so bad. Right? No, weak. But, uh, yeah, same, but. Well, and the crazy thing, a lot of these, a lot of these emails go out without someone actually double checking. So who knows? But I remember thinking like, how are you gonna vaccinate anyone with that small amount? Like 150 a day sounds like a reasonable amount. But I think two more years, plenty of time for the people, plenty of time for the, plenty of time for the hicks up north to forget all this. No, everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my butt, guys. Oh my butt. Woo. Oh my butt. That sounds awesome. 
That sounds awesome. <laughs> wow. Oh no, someone's legs just broke. Chris. You don't need to compete. Let us pull you. Get your XPs. I can't believe you've been balancing this whole time. God. I think I tried rollers once and I was way too scared. how close we are. We are killing it. We're almost there. We're almost there. I better not get some stupid gloves. Take side bets. Side bets. Who gets the wheels? I, th I think I need them. shits and giggles and for elevation but but I mean it would be cool it would be cool to get a better time because I'm pretty sure last time it was 120 for me snacks with me. I started to bonk so hard I couldn't see. I was trying to like steer my handlebars off the ridge of the mountain. I was like yelling at my roommate. Totally. Totally. And in my
a super tuck. What the heck is this not steep enough? That's ridiculous. Cheers. I heard you can't get it without the power up. There's a numbing effect on my butt. I'm doing it now.
fucking helmet. The fuck do I need a helmet for? The fuck do I need a helmet for? Dude, I've been trying to steer off this mountain for the last half hour. Good job. It was pretty fun. Good job, everyone. That was fun as hell. Radio Tower. Come on. I'm so jealous. Give them to me. I'll buy them. I have I buy them. I, I'll buy them. I have so much drops. I have like 1.3 million. What a fun ride. Ooh. 
Now I'm ready to have a shower and go out and do something for the rest of the day. Gotta find like some art supplies and stuff. Oh, that was a lot of fun. try skiing. Can I ski on mushrooms? Maybe I could just snowboard. Oh wow. I can't wait. Dude, I've rode I've rode in Tokyo. It's amazing. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I want that job. I want that job. Oh. Ha 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 ha. 